How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazastico and this is Guinea Pig Simulator and we're in a bit of trouble today. I think we've been caught off guard. I think because of the sheer numbers and how quickly they're going to run across here, standing here really isn't going to be optimal. I want to sort of keep them in turret range though, so I think the idea bringing them as far away behind here would be great. Paul is going to move quite slow. Ark is a male. Can you move? Uh, you're moving about 80%. So Ark, if you can get a couple of shots off there. Eagle. Get right back. Paula, get right back. Okay, you can see the only saving grace is there's so many of them. The game can't really, f like, get them down there. We just need to wait for the other colonists to basically run up to be able to provide support. I want to try and make sure the guinea pigs are only coming from one avenue rather than hitting us from like a couple of points like down this way and down that way. Right, strapping. Just want you to basically tank them. Okay, that was really good that that one died. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Ark, you can back off now. Strapping, get about there. So I want to make sure you're getting helped. Okay, Hobbit, get there. Strapping's just there to sort of slow them down. it had been great if he didn't get hit there. Come on, Strapping. What's your health? No danger. Uh, Vex, um, I forgot about you. Make sure you come this way. I don't. Want, I said I just want them funneling. I don't want this. Because it creates just an angle where nothing can really hit them. Right, strap him. Okay, nice, we got a good shot off. Then strapping can just be there. Sort of hoping that they'll come to him rather than any of our shooters. See, I just find this is the best way to use melee people, to be honest. Nice, nice, nice. Just lure them down. Nice, I think you got shot there, didn't you? Yep. LMG. Like, we can... That was Vex. Vex is trying to kill strapping. Okay, got some guinea pigs that have come in. Paula moved back. Ark moved forward. Strapping moved out. Okay, yep. Now he's strapping. He's going to... Oh, don't shoot him. Oh, lovely. That's it. Oh, it's not too bad. Cool, cool, cool. Not the best, but not too bad. Oh, that was... That was interesting. To be fair, I thought we were going to lose someone there. Uh, death and... 15 hours, but you're moving so slow, so we will do our little um, uh, strapping come rest here, and then we can get a doctor on you as quick as possible. Jackalope, have we got a male? Karka, you're a male, aren't you? Yep, just because they move a bit quicker, they'll be more accurate. We haven't got actually a lot of herbal medicine. But Karka will be on his way to heal you up, good and good and proper. Where are we? Ah, oh, there he comes. So actually, I think we... <sighs> the guinea pig rose from the death. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I gotta remember... No, don't drop out. Yep, rest. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I forget they can obviously um, get back up like that if obviously... Yeah, that's fine. Let's just ignore that. That, that never happened. So strapping is getting healed. Okay. Randy wasn't happy to hear that we had the fabrication bench back up. That's what it was. So he was coming for us. He was coming for our ass. But he didn't get it. We stayed safe. Um... Yeah, remove that bed. Then strapping can wander back when he wants. Nice, nice, nice. And actually, some successful episodes, obviously. Getting base defences back up will be big. But we need to make sure these schedules are working, because if we're in a position where components are getting made, we're pretty much laughing. Because we can start making better guns again, we can start 
getting armor, we can get our solar panel farm up, which means then chem fuel obviously isn't going to be used like popping candy. We just need someone to sit on this beautiful little machinery here. And just having a steady flow of components I think is just going to be so key for survival anyway. Okay, so machinery table is getting done. Lisa's hiding in the room. Low psychic drone. Yeah, we can sort that out soon, but we haven't really had... We do need to sort them out, don't get me wrong, but... The psychic suppression isn't going to be easy. It really isn't. And without armor, I don't really want to tackle it. Eagle, I could put you on one on smithing, but that might be a bit overkill. Let's do it. We need it done, so... Alright, it's consuming a fine meal, then I want to see making component. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. I wonder how long it actually takes. Okay, it does take a fair time. It does take a fair time. Eagle, you are a female. Yeah, okay. That's fine, it is what it is. We can't really... Yeah. Can't really lift, look a gift horse in the mouth, do you know what I mean? We can't really be disrespectful. It is sort of... I'd rather have them slow than not have them at all. That's how I'm going to look at it. So, Eagle, you're making uh, components. I appreciate ya. Then we can get our research bench back online. We can get the rest of our defences. We've got all these... Guinea pigs that need to be buried, otherwise everyone's going to be miserable. So let's make sure we turn that back on. And we'll turn our turrets off. Is there any wildlife we need to hunt? No, we can queue up some stuff though. Food-wise, we're still looking pretty good though. I just don't want to get to the point where we regret not hunting. So we'll keep an eye on that. Strapping's coming out of that quite nicely. Some more herbal medicine came down, I saw. Oh, no. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, I'm a bit chill now. I was a bit panicky, but we got through that quite nicely. We'll have a few little, little breakdowns, but hopefully nothing, you know, super crazy. Cold snap, that's fine. Are we all in our cold stuff? Cold snap. Okay, let's make sure everyone... Let's just put everyone in the cold stuff already. And then we can see who's missing what. And start making it. And to be fair, we do have a lot of crafters and whatnot. We probably could do with a couple more colonists, though. It's one thing that I was thinking between saves. We're probably like a couple of colonists short. But... It sort of is what it is. I love seeing them all change and whatnot. That sounded really weird, didn't it? Not like that. Okay, we are missing some parkers, aren't we? Two that I can see. So let's load them up. I think we'll just make them out of cloth just because we've got so much. I know it's not the best material, but... Um, yeah, we don't have any wool. Camel hide. Yeah, we'll just make our cloth. That's fine. So let's make two. Perfect. And we need two hats as well. Look at us. Proper, like, gearing up everyone. It's because we care, guys. We really care. Rad, are you still naked? Gear. Yeah. We need a t-shirt. Eagles in all sorts of um, predicaments. So let's go. Two t-shirts. Two pants. Yeah, let's do four just to make sure we have some laying around. Just in case there's a colonist that we don't realise is naked. Okay, so components are getting done. They'll be, get, they'll be getting done slowly, but at least they'll be getting done. Hopefully that means at some point we can get these solar panels up, because I think that's going to be the next thing to get someone off of just purely making chem fuel all day long. 
Are these trees nearly harvested? Nope. I send the pop uh, some of the. No, just one. Okay, that's slightly depressing. Okay, everything else is getting hauled. Everything's getting done. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, mortar shells are being made, which is good. It is important. We have two components. We. Um, the problem is, is we took someone off of Taylor. Eagle, 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 eagle. What are we going to do with you? Probably going to have to put you back on one on Taylor. Which I don't want to, but... Just got to the point where we can make components and we have to take people away from doing it, but... Clothes is more important at this point. Because otherwise it's just going to give people negative modifiers. Bedrooms are starting to be made. Not completed yet, which is sad. But it could be a hell of a lot worse. Um, which is pretty much the catchphrase of the series. It could be a hell of a lot worse. I think it's appropriate. Right, other than that, we're actually making progress, which... I don't know, I found that the last few episodes, it's not like we're not... I don't like to say we're not making progress in the form of, you know, we're surviving, we're doing well. But I mean, actually, like pushing on rather than just surviving, do you know what I mean? Like, actually thriving. I don't think we've been at that level, where now I feel like we are. Like, being able to just make components willy-nilly, yes, it might take a while to actually do it, but... Although steel is sort of getting low. But it sort of is what it is. Um, could start mining up again. Saying that, I would just like stuff being hauled for the time being. Could attack some donkeys. Mm, I still have a lot of meat. What's all this egg? Is this the insect? Insect jelly, yeah. Okay, traps are getting made. Nice. See, stuff is getting done, which is nice. It's just the waste of chem fuel constantly. Let's turn one of these off, because we've got the batteries are stored. I know we've only got two, it's pretty sad. So we could probably do with turning some of them off. I just really, really like to get a solar panel up. It would actually make me rather happy. Is there any mega sloths near us that can be killed? Shoot frenzy strapping. He's not a brawler, but he's our only melee person. Uh, Ark is in a daze, poor mood, was insulted. Yeah, not too much we can do about that, sadly. Just see what I mean? Walters is just making chem feel like all year long. Cargo pods, anything helpful? Okay, rice. I won't say no. Who's our hauler, Vex and Lobster? You're pretty miserable. Hobbit, you're in a good mood. Come haul some rice, car car. Uh, I am going to wake you up to do it. I'm saying that I probably shouldn't have, just because the pure fact that it will be frozen, it will still deteriorate because it's outside. But actually, I'd rather just start hauling it straight away. Okay, I think we're in a good position. I do think stuff is going well. Obviously, all our plants are... All our freshly laid plants are dying, but it is what it is. Okay, we can see the battery's going down, so turning off that extra generator isn't the best. We could turn off some workbenches. I do like having them just all on, though. Um... I mean, we're not really using this at the moment, so let's turn that off. Okay, we are just slowly losing power is what's happening. Obviously with the cold snap we have to have everything on, which is a bit sad, but could be a hell of a lot worse. Eagle getting everyone dressed, which is always always lovely. No one's like getting to the point where they're running out of jobs though. Which I suppose that's good. 
Uh, Jackalope's in a daze. Poor mood, low psychic drone, that's fine. I have a couple of breakdowns, but it's fine. Genuinely, I'm happy with where we are as a colony. Might need to cut down some more trees, though. I don't know if they're all going to die in the weather. Let's cut all of them, just the ones nearby anyway. Don't really want to trace across the map. Oh, code snap is over already. Nice. So at least we have um, all that cold weather gear being made. So at least next time we need it, we've got it. So that's not the worst thing in the world. Probably taking people off cold a bit too quickly, but worse things have happened. Inspired surgery. Nice, nice, nice. Tell you what we could actually do with like uh, some trades. We haven't had a lot of like people come in with like trades. Like we've had a couple of trade ships come in absolutely clutch for the colony, but we haven't had anything like really crazy come in. Like whenever I play on offline and stuff, I always get loads of traders coming constantly, but alas, we haven't been that lucky so far, but Hey, we are we are getting better. We just need jobs to be getting done now. That's the problem. We've just got because everyone's slowed down because of the psychic suppression. I just still don't feel confident actually trying to take it out. I just think who's starving. Ah, oh, okay, it's because he's having a breakdown though. I just think that psychic suppression with the mechanoid base is going to be crazy. I think there's going to be lots of turrets, lots of mechs, and I don't think we're currently in the position to take them out. The only argument that we could make is we do have the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. Now, I don't know how powerful that is. I might have to Google it to do a little spoiler for myself. Uh, run wild with Bonnie. Okay, so we have to try and tame Bonnie. Okay, because we've done that with Lover, where Lover went wild and we couldn't um re-recruit which was a bit sad so a bit negative that bonnie's done that but overall we've been making progress there's not much we can do because there's not much we can do about the psychic droner at the minute there really isn't i mean we're all in good moods we could go take it on we could just set it up then for the next episode we're basically there ready Hopefully we can tame Bonnie and get Bonnie back. Where is Jackalope? Jackalope's having a breakdown himself. Lisa? Okay, can't tame because the animal's sleeping. <laughs> oh, it just sounds funny, doesn't it? I mean... I wonder if we gear people up and we at least get rid of the psychic drone. I think that's probably the move. So pull our soldier, because that just has pirates in. Eight pirates? Eight pirates is a lot, though. No, we're going to continue with the plan. I'm going to ignore the comments. And I want to continue with the plan. What we could do is let's push up the assault rifles, get a couple of more, then I'd feel a little bit more confident about going and taking the drone around, not the psychic suppressor. That's probably going to... We're getting close to the point where we can deal with it. Like, because we could take the Doomsday rocket launcher. The problem is, is it says... Um, single use... Uh, where is it? Good against large groups of soft targets. What's What that is saying to me is humans, like fleshy targets rather than metal. To be fair, we could take it to deal with the pirates and not necessarily use it. We don't have to use it. Hmm... Just would like so we'll get a couple more assault rifles. I think that's a no-brainer. Just get some better weapons because we've got a lot of heavy SMGs which require us to be quite close in personal. 
Because I don't really want to want a little bit of range on us. I suppose the question is, is do we take the Doomsday rocket launcher with us? Because I feel like if we take it, we've got to use it because... Let's check. Currently active. Nope. Uh, active. I think we've got to deal with it. Um, eight pirates. Okay, I think we've got to deal with it with the amount of breakdowns that are having specifically because of it. So we're going to go Paula, Soldier, Hobbit. Soldier, I'm going to do it one by one. We're going to take everyone that can fire. Karka. I'm not a fan of this sniper rifle, I have to admit. Karka, Soldier. Eagle, come get the Doomsday rocket launcher. And you'll be Soldier. Walters. Soldiers, how many people we got going so far? One, two, three, four, five. Arc. Soldiers, so that's six. Strapping will go as melee, seven. They do outgun us so far and vex. Sign. Soldier, they will. So it will be equal numbers. Do we take grenades? I don't know if we do. I just don't like how close and personal grenades are, but I think I might be like underestimating how good they are. It'd be interesting how many people can actually gear up with armor. Doesn't look like as many as I thought. With Paula being naked. So we've got two people naked. Flak no, flak pants. Flak helmet, flak jacket. Like, we need all these at the top. I'd really like to go. I'm going to push them over the EMP, sorry, all the shells anyway. Um. So who didn't manage to gear up? Lobs, no. Vex did, so we'll keep. Strapping did. Ark didn't, so let's just put you back to hot. Walters did. Eagle did. Karka, let's just put you back as hot. So at least you've got something on. Hobbit. Let's make sure they've actually got clothes when they're going. We've got a few people that are armoured up. I don't think we can keep delaying it because, especially with like losing Bonnie, you've like, where's Bonnie gone? Like Bonnie running wild now. I think we're just going to keep losing people. And. I don't, I don't think that's good enough. Not personally. Right, let's go to the world, and it will take a year to load, because apparently my potato PC just struggles with everything. Um, oh god, it's really close to us. Nice. So we form caravan. Yep, that's not even going to take a day. That is actually brilliant. Except, so we're going to take everyone... So the rocket launcher, we're sort of agreeing. I say we're agreeing. Um, travel supplies. Fine meals. No, take the pelican. Don't take the fine meals. How do I... No, take this. This is why I've got it. Yeah, that's more than enough food that you've just brought. Let's not take that much then. 150? One day of food, it takes eight, so let's take a little bit more just in case. 200, I think that's fine. Herbal medicine. Um, take, two, take four good medicine just in case. Send, yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Uh, cool. Is there someone that's handling that's staying back? Yeah, Jackalope. It'd be nice if we could recruit Bonnie again. It's a bit of a shame that came to that. But yeah, we've geared up as many people as we can gear up. We've got weapons on them. I actually think we need to take that out because it is just that constant mood like debuff. Like at least the psychic suppression is only slowing down females and not actually making them miserable. Okay, some didn't actually gear up in clothes, <laughs> but that's fine. It's not the worst thing that I've ever done. 
and won't be the last. Uh, no, they haven't left yet. Where are they? Oh no, they have, yep. Okay, they're now traveling outside the map. Well, it's not gonna take that long to get there, which is actually really, really nice. I worried I clicked on the wrong thing then. And because we sent them in the day, they'll get there. That's where the psychic suppressor is. It's even a little bit further, so if we choose to go, there's... Yeah, we're just purely in trouble if we choose to go. Or at least this, I don't know. And the problem is, is even if it's got turrets, you have to clear the whole map before you can leave. Which I don't know if I necessarily agree with, but I understand why they've put it in. It's because I hope they don't sleep for the night. I just want to get there and deal with it. Here we go. Everyone at home is doing their best. Just going to put it on speed one because we're going to get there any time soon. And I don't want any funky business happening without me. I'll just be sad. We've got the rocket launcher if we need it. Now, I know people in the comments are probably going to say it's it's a waste or whatnot, but if we if we need to use it, I would rather have it. Okay, an interesting map. I can only see three of them, but we know there's more. There's a turret there with pretty good range, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll grab everyone and then we'll move them round because we're not going to get hit by a silly... Oh, there we go. There's other people. Um, okay, the best way to do this... Let's move up here. We need to avoid... The turret, that's for sure. Looks like they're aggroed. Eagle. I really don't want you firing that without my permission. Is there any cover we can take? Oh, you've got a shotgun. You've just got a melee. To be fair, guns are better than theirs. They do have grenades, which will be a little bit of a problem. To be fair, Kaka, you've got a sniper. So you can really outrange them. Yeah, God, you really can. Yeah, I just want to make sure we deal with this properly. I don't want to rush and go in like silly, actually. To be fair, we're probably better down here because then we're all undercover and the turret still can't shoot us. So Karka, you're the sniper, so you're going to get the party started. Eagle, you're going to hang back because I wonder if we can actually get away without using you. And if that's the case, I don't really want to use that from hopefully what is going to be a brilliant weapon. I don't want to just waste it. Okay. Let's push up and see what we've got to work with. Okay, Karka will take a shot. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the guy with the bolt action rifle. Because he will be able to outrange some of the stuff. Good shot. Don't say they're pets and they're coming to kill me. That was a really good shot, I have to be said. I really love that shot, like Jesus. Okay, car cut. More of that, please. That would be absolutely lovely. Oh my God, car cut. Someone put his shooting shoes on today. He's two for two if he goes three for three. If he goes three for three, he's my boy. Car cut. He lines it up. He lines it up. Take back what I said about the sniper. Jeez. Strapping. Getting the aggro. That's what we like to see. We're actually dealing with this quite nicely. And hopefully we'll get some weapons and stuff back. Or say back to the point where we can actually like bring them back. Um, I was going to end the episode. But actually it would be really nice to actually finish this. So we could start off the next episode in a really positive way. Okay. Grenades and Molotovs. Which is going to be little bit of a problem but if we can get them to attack strapping would be good oh the turrets attacking strapping 
Okay, they're fleeing, so yeah, we've done it. Really, really good job by everyone. And we, like I said, it's like we might not have wanted that rocket launcher, but like, yeah, we we didn't know what was going to come at us. And in anticipation for, oh, please don't go into the turrets range. And in anticipation, oh, Ark, you've let the team down. Stay back now. Um, in anticipation for them all having like assault rifles and armor. Okay, attack that solar panel so they're not getting any power. All right, and then he dies as well. It's a shame like they all instantly died and we couldn't like strip them from their clothes and some of them did have. Okay, we've got some components we can take home. Okay, um, wait. Oh, the cable's down, so yep. Cool, the turret's down, nice. Deconstruct. I imagine everyone's gone. Uh, Ark, how are you doing health-wise? Yeah, you're fine. Uh, just going to deconstruct the wall just in case there are things inside. Let's move our people over to the right. Hopefully there's not. Okay, just loads of beds and a passive cooler. That's a lot of beds. Okay, over here. Same thing, same thing. I'm leaving Eagle back as well, just in case he um, accidentally uses his rocket launcher and everything. I think I would potentially cry. He uses his rocket launcher on like a turret. <laughs> I don't know how good that rocket launcher is. Okay, that's the thing that we want. Um, we could probably deconstruct one more wall just to make it slightly easier to shoot. That's basically what we want to destroy to get the female's mood boost gone. So there we go. So if we can shoot that, we want to be at a distance. Because I imagine it will blow up. Uh, let's get a little bit further back. We've had this done before where um, I accidentally kill ourselves by sta Yeah, no, let's, let's get way back. Like, I don't trust this game whatsoever. So then the minute this goes, females will have a nice little relax. They'll still be um, knackered through the other thing, but, you know, one problem at a time, hey? And we'll be able to take some resources home as well. Hey, there we go. That bad boy is destroyed. Can we deconstruct that? Undraft. Let's deconstruct some stuff. Paula deconstruct. Vex deconstruct. And then we'll have some components to actually take home with us. Which will be nice. Uh, don't know what that is, but let's deconstruct it. Don't know what it's going to give us. Uh, just some steel. Try and take the steel home. Um, is there anything else we want to deconstruct? I don't think there is. The light will just give us a little bit of steel. I mean, I suppose there's no point. How much steel does it give? 15, yeah, let's not worry about it. Lovely, so let's set up this. So we want to go reform caravan. And we want to go home. But we also want to take some stuff with us. So we want to take all the components. All the steel. All the plus steel. Okay, we're getting to the point where we're going to be full. So let's take the grenades, the molotov. I'm just looking at this bit up here where it says mass. I'm pretty sure that's our limit. Um, Yeah, let's take the bolt action. The pump shotgun just because they're going to be good to sell. All them clothes are tainted, which is so sad. And other that... Do we care about anything else? I mean, we could take the steel slag chunks, but... 
I mean, they weigh so much. Why bother? I think that's fine. We come home with seven components. We come home with steel, plus steel, some weapons to sell, and we take zero point days to come home. Okay, let's go back to our colony. And as we can see, everything's done. But I think we've actually made some really good progress. So awesome, awesome, awesome. If you got to this point in the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.